Hi, this is Dr. Tony Kovacs at Sound Relief Hearing Center in Fort Collins, Colorado. And today we're going to cover how to clean your phonak behind the ear device. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is use a brush. If your devices came with a brush, you can use a little brush. If not, honestly, a toothbrush uh, works just wonderfully if you purchase a toothbrush that you use only for your devices. And what I'm going to do is brush out the microphone ports. So on this device, you can see there are these little holes. There's one there, there's one there, and then there's one on the spine of the device. I like to just go ahead and brush those out. Good. You're going to take this dome off. There could be several different types of domes on your device. It might look a little different from this, but they're all they're all removed in the same way. You may or may not have this extra tail piece on your device. If so, you can just kind of move that out of the way a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is put my fingertip right on the tip of this thing here, and then I'm going to put a thumb underneath. So finger here, a thumb underneath, grab as much material as possible and just pull it right off of there. This is the speaker and inside the speaker, there's what's called a wax filter. The wax filter is actually going to stop wax from getting into the speaker. So the way that we remove that, you should be able to find a little disc like this. Now you can see that there's a one and a two. One has a little trash can and two does not. So I like to put my fingers on the underneath here and my thumbs right here. And then you can kind of turn this a little bit. You can see these arrows are prompting you to turn it in this direction. So the bottom stays stationary, but with, the, with your thumbs, you can turn it. Now you can see when I turned it a little bit, you see that one, the trash can is empty and two, the non-trash can has a new little white piece in there. Well, that's our new wax filter. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our device and you're going to stick the end of that, the speaker, directly into number one where the trash can is. and just push that in there. Remove it. You'll hear it click when it goes in. And now you can see that you've actually deposited, the wax filter is no longer in the end of there, it's in that number one trash can compartment. Now number two, we're gonna wanna pull that out of there using the device. So I'll stick that into the number two hole pull it out, and now it made its way into here, and you can see that that number two is empty. When it's time to reload, what you wanna do is just turn this a little bit, and you'll see that once again, number one, the trash can is empty, and number two, the new one is ready to be taken out of Once there. I've replaced the wax filter. I like to just give this whole thing a wipe down. So here at Sound Relief, we use audio wipes, which are specifically designed for devices. If you're in a pinch, you can use an alcohol prep wipe, but it is recommended that you use audio wipes if possible. They're just designed specifically for electronics. So I just wipe this whole thing down. I also want to clean this dome. I can take this dome and put it in the audio wipe or alcohol prep wipe, just like that, and just mash it around. And that'll clean out any wax that has accumulated in the dome itself. And then it's time to put the dome back on the end. So I take my dome and I look on the underside, because you, you might be able to see there's a little grommet there, and I just want to wedge this right back onto the device, just like that. You can do a little tug test to make sure that it's not gonna pop off in your ear canal. We recommend that you do this approximately once a month or for general troubleshooting. 
if your devices are not working or one of your devices is not working, chances are it's either the battery or the wax filter. So if you need help with either of those things, please give us a call. Have a great day. Thanks.